Have you ever wanted a different type of mic or wondered what people use other than maybe a shotgun mic or a road mic that sits on top of the camera, but you wanted something that has decent sound to it? Well, obviously a lot of it goes into kind of your surroundings and stuff like that. But as far as a mic that can be inconspicuous, or you can use a lav mic, which you can see that I have right here. Um, the Rode Wireless Go 2, it's a great little mic. It comes, you can get one or two of these, and then it comes with a receiver, which I have right down here. Um, but the thing about it is you can hide it. You can use it like this if you want to, or you can just hide it um, under a shirt, or you could use a lot of mic, like I said, and you can actually put this under the shirt if you have the correct kind of tape that you can tape it up underneath it. Sometimes you can get it to where it doesn't ruffle, stuff like that. But anyway, and you can dial it in actually pretty close to the camera specific to what you're using. And I'm going to show you how to do that through the Rode Companion app. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Rode.com Wireless Go 2. That's where you want to be at. And you're going to scroll down until you see the Rode Central Desktop Download. You'll click on that. Uh, you can do it for your mobile if you want to, uh, but right here we're talking about the companion app for the uh, for your desktop or your laptop. So you'll go to Road Central, obviously Road Companion app, and depending on what you have, you'll download. I have the Mac, so I downloaded that. And then what you'll go to is it'll be on your desktop. You'll move it wherever you want it, and then this will come up. So. If you notice here, you'll click on this wireless go to. That's what you'll have um, plugged up via USB C. And you'll have, there's not a lot to do inside of the, um, inside of this, this app, but I will say you can definitely dial it in to where it sounds good. I'm actually using the wireless go to right now. Um, and what's kind of cool about it is you can come to, this spot right here and you can add whatever camera that you have you can go to the manufacturer let's do this I'll show you real quick so if I was to pick Canon I would go down to let's say R5 and then next it'll give you this link and if you go to this link it'll take you here to this PowerPoint and then it tells you what your settings should be on your camera it's a step-by-step -step if you need this um, if you're new to this, you would probably need this PowerPoint in order to get you to the right place and set up the right settings. It's really simple though. And then it tells you where you should be on the volume on your camera and how it's related to your road mic. That's really all there is to do in here. That's pretty good because now you have your camera that's specific to what you use and the audio from the wireless go to uh, should be matching that. So you should get the best audio that you could actually get out of the wireless go to. Now, if you go into your transmitter, you'll have uh, this setup. And it's the same thing. There's not a lot to do inside of the app, but it is good to have the app so that you can really dial in exactly how you want the wireless go to be. Now, it's not complicated. Really, it's a plug and play. All it is is kind of tweaking it to exactly how you want it or how it may go to um, a specific camera that you have. So that's basically what this is. Now, you can uh, delete some things. Uh, you can obviously delete any of the audio that you have in here uh, if you need to. But the biggest thing that I find that's helpful in here is this right here. Now you can hit always on, back up, or button, or off, obviously. Now, usually what I do is button. You don't have to. Um, I did for a long time have it on always on. That way there is no, uh, you don't have to worry about it. As soon as you turn it on, as soon as you turn everything on, it starts to record. kind of saves you so that you don't... Because I have been in a situation where I forgot to hit record. So it is a good thing to have. Um, 
I just try to walk through the steps now in order to make sure that I have the record on. But you do it however you want to do it, but it's always a good thing to have it always on record. This is all you really need to know about the Wireless Go 2. It's super simple. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.